Alright, so I am here with Warden to end the last word debate. Uh, not that I'll be successful, but I hope to at least garner some brownie points here. So, first things first, last words damage fall off range is 18 meters. And I'll run that by you guys. So as you can tell, it's 69 per crit. And I'm going to go all the way back to 20. This is 20, correct? Yep. 66. So we know it doesn't hit more than 20 meters. Does that mean the time to kill changes? Probably not, because it's a rapid fire. It's 260. So still pretty fast. But the point is, we are now outside of its fall off zone. It's aim assist cone, I mean aim assist, uh, aim assist range, and it's accuracy range. So as we go up closer, let me know when I'm at 18. Uh, you're at 16 right now. Back up a bit. A little more. Yep. Yeah. All right. So now we're at 18. 69. So now we nice. know we are. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, now we know we are in the dead zone of its range for its accuracy, but no, but we're outside the dead zone for its aim assist. And the reason why we know this is because of the last word's range setup. So it has 42 range, which means that you take 42% of its maxual distance. So we take 42% of 18, which we did the math earlier, 7.56, which means it's stickiest at 8 meters. Well, 7.56, so around shotgun distance, which means it is specifically designed to combat shotguns. Let me know when to get to 7. 7 meters. So now, by the time we get to 7 meters, there's two things we got to take note of. Where, if I'm aiming at his body, where is the reticle sitting right now? Some of it's hitting his lower chin when he's aiming down sights. Some of it's hitting his main bed, his chest. It should not register as a crit. And if it does, the only reason why it could is because at the bottom of the uh, aim assist cone, I'm sorry, accuracy cone, is touching his chin. There we go. So as you can tell, if you look closely, if you, if you have a way to zoom in the video, which I probably will, um, that cone is touching his chin. If I am up higher, now we know for sure it should register crit, but we are in its sweet spot right there. But if I back up to 18, uh, I think I'm, I'm 18, right? Nope, you're at 15. 15, okay. Uh, stand on like that little vex pit. Okay, right there. That's 17, a little more. There you go. Alright, so if I aim this, and I'm hopefully not aiming at your head here. Alright, I'm a little bit right, right. Let's try right there. Not measuring anything. I'm going on the other side. Make sure. Not registering. I'm going to go above you. Now, this is one might be a little bit weird. Not registering. And the reason why we know that does not register is because how the gun is designed. So, if you look at last words, reticle design, the way we can tell the cone angle when aiming down sights of any gun is with the reticle placement and the reticle design. See, what they want, what Bungie's trying to tell you here is that your your outer cone, your, uh, I'm sorry, your accuracy cone is allowing you to hit people in like there. I put his head between my, 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 my center reticle and the last part of the reticle, it will register as a crit. If I do this on the opposite side, it will work. So if we apply that same theory to, to our hip fire reticle, if his head is in the reticle space, it should hit a crit. Well, should, but we're firing blanks. Imagine shooting four shots and only one of them hitting. So you have a 25% chance that at its maximum range that it will hit a crit. So if I shoot off, not, I'm, I'm not getting any aims. I mean, I'm on controller. I am clearly on controller. Yep, such a magnet, such a magnet. Hitting crits. And I, I don't mean to sound uh, crude, but there are other guns in this game that have a slightly faster, I mean, slower time to kill, or have higher aim assist that are much more lethal in exotic perk design, or contesting of mobility. And I'm specifically referring to Hawk Moon and Farewell. Hawk Moon, at least a specific role, has 92 aim assist. And as we discussed before, we've talked about how if it's on his head, which clearly it's on his head, it should register for crit. Well, he still hits body. Now if I move a little bit closer, now he's inside. Now registers for crit. Same thing over here. Registers for crit. So if I'm filling my gun around, and notice how sticky that is, by the way. Let's, let's not forget how sticky this thing is. 
compared to last word when, when you're doing it. Now, I know and I do understand, like, last word stickiness isn't from the, the ADS factor. It's actually from the hip fire. And it looks a lot stickier than it really is. Because even then, I showed you earlier when I was just filling around, no crits. So last Hawk Moon is all about, and especially with this master work, allows you to get the tighter range. And as we know about range, range means accuracy. How accurate is your gun? And since you're building up half a meter to a meter per stack, you're going to get that emphasis cone, accuracy cone really tight, which gives you more forgiveness for your shot. And if you pair that with other things on Gunslinger, like stability, then not only are you maintaining the fire form of the aim assist cone and the accuracy cone, but you're keeping it at a steady recoil to manage those shots per crit. Um, and I'll actually show you one more thing to kind of show you uh, what I'm talking about here. This is a farewell. Farewell, at least this is the both range finder, full bore, accurized, has 18 meters, same with last word. There's your head, so I'm standing up to my desk. So that's on you. And now if I aim a little bit to the right, Huh. Am I, am I still 18 meters? Yes, you are. Huh? That's different. All right. Let me hear if I keep them there. Crit. Crit. Nothing. Because even though you have those two bars there, it needs to be in the inner specs of that. Overall, the... the and actually, another thing I'd like to point out is... Let me go over to this wall right here. Notice how if I, if I go to the last one of my mouse and keyboard... There's that. Now if we go here, it expands. You don't want a wider cone. You want a tighter cone. Oh, tighter the better. That's what we say here. But if you know I'm not All right. Go, listen, we don't talk about that. Um, so I'm on, I'm on also keyboard, clearly. Like, this is not me on controller. I am wailing around like an idiot. There's that. Watch it expand. Boom. 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 And boom. So, mouse and keyboard players actually should have more of a benefit, especially when you throw in stuff like, like Lucky Pants and Hand Cannon Targeting Mods. Not that you really need them when it comes to Last Word. I'm on mouse and keyboard again. 19 meters, by the way. Ah. 18. There we go. Nope. Nope. Oh, nope. Right there. Yep, right there on your head. Like, not, not directly on your head, but the cone angle was obviously on your head. So, same practice applies. In reality... This whole argument of Ooga Booga controller busted invalid. There are some sketchy stuff with sidearms. I will need to do some more testing on that. It, earlier when we were testing it, and I'll probably post those up in, into this version, um, we were getting crits on the uh, head for the sidearm. So hopefully you find this well, and hopefully this does explain a little bit. If it doesn't, well, I'm sorry.